I'm talking Randy off the ledge. He said this job sucks. That's what he just said to me. He said this job sucks. That's a lot. I'll tell you what, you don't have me freaking pinned in a coffin corner last night. Body in true. Me, body in me off this bed. That's not true. That's absolutely true. That's disgusting. This is a show about a few different things. It's about the places you can find in your own backyard. And it's about how golf can take you to other people's backyards. And just to make it more fun, we gave Randy and Neil a really small budget to work with. Do we just miss our team time? I want them to lose all of the golf balls. And most importantly, I want them to come in under budget. Today's the money round. Yeah. Two dollars. Margarita night. Oh, that's a fair what question, is, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fair question. Yeah, like that's another dollar. And now you just ask me for two dollars to buy another water bottle? Well, we can share. Join us as we highlight a few parts of the golf world that don't get much publicity. And try to do it for less than five hundred dollars. I want to see him out with the folks. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to justify who I am here. I have two discounted tickets for eight bucks a piece. Stop it. Yeah. Wow, there's so many directions I could go. I'd say I, I, day one was a resounding failure. <laughs> So, I, I'm not really experienced with the Airbnb. Is this it your was, first time? Uh, yeah, and I feel like we hit the lottery twice. The first night we stayed at this lady, and she was just, she was such an interesting person. I uh, love PBS, big into Japanese anime, was like a freelance editor of comic books. And, I, and then the, our second. Well, and then the second night, like not to, you know, it was just like, it blew me away. It was the most, welcoming, warm home I think I've ever gone into. Certainly as like a stranger. Kind of says it all, doesn't it, Neil? I mean, there you have it. I kind of expected, not expected, it's not the right word, hoping for some good Midwest hospitality. And I think we've received that in spades. She had one of those massage chairs that you only use like when you're in the mall at Brookstone, RIP Brookstone, I think they went bankrupt. Just good people and, and some good Mexican food. A highest recommendation from our Airbnb, um, what do you say, host, I guess? Yeah. I just feel like, I just feel like this day keeps getting better, 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 better. Two dollar margarita night at La Viva. Might be La Viva Loca. <laughs> Like she laid out coupons for us for dinner that night. Yeah. Like it was just such. So Viva didn't take the coupons though, which well, yeah. that's kind of a problem. We have anywhere from like thirty-two to thirty-six dollars okay. for us to s outside of golf. I so mean, we breakfast, get lunch. Pretty outlandish with that kind of money. Hoping to hit the state fair. We gotta get some souvenirs too. You guys got everything you need? Yeah, we're good, man. All right. Hey, good night, boys. Good night. That was the most lovely, delightful evening I could have possibly hoped for and imagined. Part of the hook of this show has been finding budget accommodations, and while that led to some of the most enjoyable moments of the trip, they weren't always close to the next golf course. This meant spending a lot of time in the car driving back and forth between Des Moines and Ames, which is strangely kind of a beautiful drive as the sun is coming up. Eventually, spending this much time in the car together, as anyone knows, you start to get a little slap happy. All jacked up by the energy of Ed Kowalczyk, we arrived back in Ames for our final round of the trip. It doesn't look packed on a Friday morning, so that's good. 
Vinker Memorial Golf Course opened in 1938 as part of the Works Progress Administration through the vision of George F. Vinker, the former ISU athletic director and football coach. Vinker wanted to make sure there was a golf course on the Iowa State campus, so he enlisted Perry Maxwell to design the course. Today, it is absolutely everything that a campus course should be. It's quirky and interesting for beginners and lifelong golfers alike. It'll cost you $30 to walk during the week, and ISU students can play nine for 13 bucks. Finding places like this, a Perry Maxwell that's public and affordable and fun and interesting is exactly why we wanted to make this series. You know what? We were kind of thinking about maybe like playing a game today. Yeah. Maybe that's not what it's about. This could be a song. All right, fire away, bud. Gotta activate. Look at this hole, number two. So, two T areas to choose from. Find the hill for more of a challenge. Big guy, nice work. Uh, the chute opens up into a nice sized landing area. Iron off the tee is plenty, accuracy is essential. Tee shot only needs to go about 175, 185. Second shot uphill, all carry, baby. Very difficult. Two tier green. Yeah. I am wearing a hat that says no laying up, though. Do you want me to tell you to take driver? I will if you want me to tell you that. He's gone to the disco stick. So it begins. So it begins. Spanked it. Quit it. Stay right there. Yeah, I think, high. I, think, I think might be Rory. I just I couldn't be hitting the driver any better and I'm just over there in those trees with the wedges. Listen, I was going to say the same thing. I've played a lot of golf with Neil and I've seen him play pretty well, but I don't think I've ever seen anything like I saw that day at Vink. Don blew it. Good shot. Neil for eagle. Oh my god, he's done it. Jumbo bird. Shout to Damon Green. Shout to Tron too. Neil is just bullying the golf course right now. What are you at? Are you one under? One under. One under on the day. On the day. You realize the mega bonus is in play. That's true. If I break par, right? If you break par, you get the mega bonus. I forgot about that. You see, if you look up, you can see Icarito riding the thermals higher and higher. Neil, Neil's two under on the day. Neil needs to play his last six in one over in order to get the mega bonus. Developing. developing situation. Oh, developing. Okay. Yeah, what's uh? What's up? What's going on? So I'm two under. Through twelve. Through twelve. The mega yeah. bonus is in play. Wait, DJ's two under. Or you're two under. I'm two Neil's under. Two under. Through twelve holes. In relation to par. In relation to par. Yeah. Yeah. I had an eagle on ten and a birdie on twelve. Icarito? Icarito is rising faster and faster, going higher and higher. We just wanted to alert you guys. I just want to let you know, you know, because it's coming out of your pocket. Uh, what is the mega bonus again? $500. $500. We're going to the state you, fair after this. If you shoot under par? Yeah. What teams are you guys playing? We're playing the member the teams. The normal ones. The normal ones. I'm not, I'm not nervous at all. Yeah, I'm not either. I'm not, I'm not either. All right, I'm good. Sure. Well, we just wanted to let you know. Yeah, we were just doing it, our due diligence. Due diligence so you know that no, there's no shenanigans going on. We're on 13, and it's a developing situation. DJ will keep you in the loop as your proxy. Sounds good. Please do. Sounds good. I can't wait to see how this all falls apart. All right, guys. All right. Good luck. Cheers. I think it's dangerous to, like, pre-spend the bonus. True, true, you know? true, true. But... I do like your idea of going into the bud tent in the thrill zone at the state fair and just showering the East Des Moines women with, with free alcohol. Uh, Neil, have you, when was the last time you shot under par? I've never shot under par. What, what's kind of been the issue? Um, that's private. Well, let them know about the shot lurking, always lurking. The big right miss is lurking. 
Neil said walking up the last fairway, sometimes it feels like he's playing roulette. And he's just hoping that ball doesn't land in the big right miss slot. Well, I'm nicknamed Icarito for a reason. Um, I go on hot streaks, I'm the microwave man. I heat up quick, I nuke it, and then sometimes, you know, if you leave it in there too long, it melts. Yeah. What about the original Icarus? I mean, that guy pushed the limits. I want to do that too. DJ thinks it's more like lack of oxygen that makes me fall back to earth. Like if it's just me and the viewers talking here, I've seen this before. I've seen Icarito uh, higher and higher and higher and higher until there's no air pressure and his head explodes. <laughs> like that's <laughs> how it goes. I've seen it a hundred times. I think it's more like straight, like, you know, wax is melting, like the wings. It's Getting more close of a, to the sun. Yeah, I think it's more yeah. of a heat thing. He thinks it's oxygen. I, you know, we'll, we can debate Which, that. Like, scientifically, Science. he might be right, but I think philosophically, I side with you. I mean, regardless, it's a glorious fall. It, it's like, that was like a Felix Baumgartner. Like, hey, everyone, I'm coming home. They seem to be already playing games. Say it was too much for the kid. But you know what? I'm hunting down birds today, so you got five holes left. You gotta go find a couple. I think it's a full swing wedge over the top. Okay. Now nah, go in. I need you guys to talk to me. I'm you, losing chatter. You tighten it up? Yeah. I mean, like I, my hands are shaking on that last putt. The big right miss is lurking. Down. Yeah, I was right here, huh? That's right where I had it. What a golf shot. Uh, two holes left. Currently one over par. Uh, just not, where, where are you at right now? We gotta go two under. But hey, these are the demons I was talking about earlier, man. I, I think I'm staring them right in the face. All these critics, you know, they'll say what they say. You're out here, you know, you're, you're fighting the fight. And I don't think that's nothing. Huge par save. That's it, he's got a, a very outside chance. It's gonna have to be an eagle at the last. So in order to shoot under par for the first time in his life, in order to get the mega bonus, it all comes down to the 18th at Vinker, which is nickname. Let's go launch it. Hang on. Hang on. Ball. Great contact. Just in front of the green, he's got a chip. Hey, was that any good? Neil had battled all day and now the mega bonus came down to one chip shot that he had to hold. God, what an effort. Well, I just feel really bad for all those East Des Moines girls in the bud tent. Yeah. That we can't spend the mega bonus on because of me and uh you know tied the personal best but you know fuck man 73 73 and uh i left a couple out there so many fun little nooks and crannies to the course though great par threes i haven't Goodies been to the creek great infrastructure 
I haven't been that pleasantly surprised by a golf course in a long time. He buys. Yeah. I got $36 in my wallet. I'm starving. We haven't eaten lunch. Should we go maybe get you guys a real nice lunch? Should yeah. we go treat ourselves a little bit? Hey, great being, right, hey, hey, great being with you guys. Good being with you. Thank Iowa, you for being such good sport. Iowa, yeah. thank you. I hope thank to do you. this again sooner than later. Of course, as is tradition, Neil wanted to leave a tag before we headed out. Truly, our only regret from this trip was that we didn't actually make it to the Iowa State Fair. We, got left, big guy. we were cutting it extremely close on time, and after missing a flight in part one, Neil was a little concerned about making his flight to New York. Also, I think he was a little depressed about not having the mega bonus to take into the bud zone with him. But we've all vowed to make it back to the Iowa State Fair at some point, and we will make it happen. Neil, have you ever been to a come and go? No comment. No comment. <laughs> I was the 18th of Finker being named the Glory Hole. <laughs> I'm not sure we appreciated that at all. I don't think we did either. The last order of business, you have to get Solly and Sean a souvenir. Uh, for one of them, I don't know, we gotta think about who's who. We got a coin purse, an Iowa coin purse. That you can Very use fine. as a keychain. Yeah. For the other, we got a really cool magnet. I think this pretty much captures everything we yeah. did over the last three days. I'm happy with it. I think this will be special for Tron and Tolly. Yeah. Cool. When someone says Central Iowa, what are you guys going to think of? For me, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's the people. One of our hosts on day two, not really a host, a guy we just kind of met uh, randomly, Matt Randall, kind of said it best. He, you know, we, we were asking him, you know, what's, what's Iowa like? This guy who grew up there, went away for college, uh, successful businessman. He was like, what people don't get about Iowa is the people. They are stubborn, uh, they're hardworking, but they're genuine, they're warm. And I think, you know, we were only there, of course, three days, but I think we saw a glimpse of that. I'd say proud, but with nothing to prove, which kind of has a, a good vibe to it. And then substance from a golf standpoint, where getting a ton of value at these courses that you know, we didn't even know existed five days ago, or I didn't. And then like proving yeah. that like, you know, the you can find good golf probably down the street from where you are. And I think it's awesome that we were able to uncover that in a place that people kind of call a flyover zone. So pleasantly surprised by Waveland. Here's a old Muni tucked into the city. Just fun undulation, um, you know, cold water, the vibe at cold water. Uh, you're out there, you kind of see the Iowa State football stadium. You know, it just feels like Iowa, very cool. And then, you know, Vinker at, at Iowa State was just, uh, some of the, the shot value and, and, you know, greens, it's just a very cool course. And so, like you said, it's like, I had no idea what to expect. Munis we played were in perfect shape. Like, I felt like we were playing baseball at a minor league ballpark. Like, it was, the Met, it's just pristine. You know, for us, it was more or less like we threw a dart at the map and went and see, saw what was there. You guys can do that. Like, you don't have to blow it out with every golf trip. Like, you know, a little sense of adventure, a little sense of seeing new places, and, you know, golf's kind of the common bond, but it can take you to places and have you meet people that you wouldn't otherwise ever encounter. Um, and I think that was really the coolest, uh, coolest part of the trip. Where are we going next? Sheesh. It's up to the suits. Yeah. Sally, where are we going next? Up in the He's He was playing some private course this morning. He's tuckered out. Anytime. Cheers! Crack on!